My name is Everett, and today I'm going to be going over how to calibrate your meters on your 1910 air cart. Now we're going to go over the cali meter calibration for a 1910 air cart. So, from our run page or our main air cart page, we'll hit button G for meter setup and then press cal at the top and then you have the choice you can select both tanks or you can just do one tank if you're only going to be doing one tank in this instance i'm going to go ahead and say that i'm going to calibrate both tanks front and rear and then i'm going to hit my cal button it's going to tell you install your calibration bag enter your desired calibration RPM how fast do you want that meter turning and then it wants you to turn the meter to revolutions so that it has full the meters full of product and then you'll empty your catch bag and we will hit continue to start the calibration so we'll go ahead and our meters full so got our bag empty and underneath ready to catch we'll go ahead and hit accept now you go back to your air cart and hold the toggle switch and the meter will start turning and it will it will collect product so we'll go show you how to do this okay so now we're going to walk you through the actual calibration so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my scale and hang my bag on the scale and i'm going to zero my scale out with an empty bag Next, undo your clips on the bottom, pull your plate off, take your bag and hook it over the tabs on the bottom and then cinch your bag up tight give it a little tug make sure it's on there so now that we've got our bag attached to the bottom of the meter we're going to come up here and we've got our switch to run our meters you'll just hold down on your switch and it's going to go ahead and rotate your meters until the calibration's done when the calibration is done those meters will go ahead and stop at that time I'll let go of the switch and we'll be ready to weigh our bag. Our meters have quit turning, so now we're going to loosen our strap, hold on to this bag tight, remove it, and we're going to weigh our product. Once we have our reading for the front tank or both tanks, We'll go back to the monitor and we'll input that reading into the monitor. Now, the air cart has kept track of how many revolutions that meter has turned. So 12 and a half and 12.6. You select this box and input the weight that you caught in the bag. Hit accept and it will give you a new MDV value if I actually did the calibration so we're just pretending we don't have any product in it that is how you actually do a calibration I hope the videos that we provided you today was some help to you if you have any more questions please contact your local landmark dealer